With a flap of its wings, this hummingbird comes to life and with it a new industry for Jamaica. Last year, billions of dollars were generated by the global animation industry. Demand for animated products is booming with current animation hubs concentrating more on their own content. And Jamaica is well positioned to take maximum advantage. People would always ask me like, oh you're from Jamaica, like what animation opportunities are there in Jamaica? But it's good to see that they're trying to jumpstart an industry here and there really is a lot of interest. Kira is far from alone. Over 2,500 young Jamaicans already have the basic skills to become animators. And with around 120 people needed for a 10-minute clip, the animation industry could provide much-needed careers. But how to turn this potential into reality? Enter Kingston. For two days, 900 wannabe animators filled the halls of the University of the West Indies for the inaugural animation festival, and there were Jamaican animation stars on hand ready to advise. After facing rejection early in her career, 3D animator Coretta Singer stressed the importance of perseverance. Don't give up and don't be afraid to make mistakes. You have to make those mistakes to learn from them. And if you're afraid to make the mistakes, you'll never really get to where you want to go. It's just part of the process. And there was plenty of passion on display from those who flocked to the UWI campus as pop-up tutorials, workshops, and panels provided a unique opportunity for feedback from the best in the business. I want you to practice. I want you to create something, you know, manageable, something operational, something you can actually you as an animator, you as an actor, because that's what basically animators are, mm -hmm. you uh, identify yourself with this lady. I have an interest in animation and perhaps pursuing it as a career someday. I used to make my own comics and stuff. I used to buy sketch pads and just make comics. That's what I wanted to do. When I saw that dinosaur running around on the screen and I believed it was there, I was like, I want to be a part of that magic. And it's exactly this drive, this energy, and this creativity that industry leaders, ministers, and teachers are hoping to tap into to animate Jamaica's creativity. Once we get a number of major productions in here, be they local or be they outsourced, I can assure you that we're going to need thousands of people working on those. The challenge now is how to turn this potential into reality and lay the path not just for a new industry in the Caribbean, but a brighter prospect for these talented Jamaicans.